Hello and welcome to the video tutorial on how to configure Apple Mail with Gmail. Let's get started by opening up your internet browser. Yep, go to gmail.com. You're going to want to log in with your username and password. Once logged in, go to the settings page in Gmail. Go to forwarding and pop IMAP. Okay, so now you're going to be given two options, either to configure a uh, mail with pop download or IMAP access. I'm going to recommend IMAP just because it's a newer technology and it's way better, you know, if you use multiple devices. Uh, so this tutorial, we're going to stick with IMAP. Make sure IMAP is enabled and save changes. Okay, so now we're actually ready to open up mail. Once mail is open, go to Mail, Preferences, create a new account, enter your full name, your email address, and your Gmail password. Okay, so now you're going to give him the option to um, allow mail to automatically configure Gmail to work with mail. Um, but for this tutorial, we're going to just set it up manually since we're using an IMAP access. So for account type, we're going to go to IMAP. The description doesn't really matter. You can name it anything. I'm just going to name it I clarify IT. Incoming mail server. Okay, this is very important if you want to receive your mail from Gmail. So the incoming IMAP server imap.gmail.com okay so now enter your username and password again um, most likely all this information will be carried on from the first step to the second step press continue okay so now the outgoing mail server is a server in which mail from um, the mail application gets sent out so the description doesn't matter again name it gmail okay so the outgoing mail server is smtp.gmail.com Make sure use authentication is checked off and your username and password is correct. Press continue. It's just going to verify that all this information is correct with Gmail. It usually takes one or two minutes. Okay, so now we're configured. Just review this information, make sure it's correct and make sure take account online is checked off create okay so there's my new account and there is on the side as well so now I have no messages so nothing's gonna be downloaded but in your case if you do have uh, messages then everything is gonna be downloaded again I am app everything's in sync so uh, everything will be downloaded including your sent mail receive mail and start mail and Gmail so let's just test it out. I'm going to create a new message. I'm going to send to myself. Test. Send. Good. So now IMAP is really, really fast. So I'm going to receive it right away in my inbox. There it is. Right away. So now on the side here, um, I have all of my Gmail folders that are in Gmail. So if you go back to Gmail, there, here are all the folders. Sent drafts, uh, trash, and they're all here as well. So everything stays in sync. Nothing's actually downloaded onto your computer. Just um, mail fetches the information from Gmail. So here it's read, okay? I read it on my Mac. When I'm going to go to uh, Gmail and I refresh, go back to the inbox, it's going to show red as well on Gmail. So again, that's really handy if you have multiple computers because if you read one message on one computer, it'll show as red on the other computer or your mobile device. So let's say if I'm going to delete it. Right now, it's actually deleted. Usually it takes around a couple of seconds for it to you know, come in contact with Gmail and get synced up. Um, but when I go to Gmail now, refresh again, that mail message is not there anymore. 
So yeah, that's basically it. You configured uh, Gmail to work with uh, uh, the mail application over an IMAP connection. Uh, have a great day. Thank you.